Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, The Gentleman Reviewer. So today I have a, something new that I'm going to review for you all. As you can see, it's a the leather key organizer. Um, most of what I've been doing so far has been stationary related, especially a lot of pens and mechanical pencils and fountain pens. Um, and granted, the whole reason I started this blog is so I can review a variety of, especially fountain pens, mechanical pencils, and then some of the nicer pens. Um, but Given that that's not my only focus, um, I've been trying to get a few more other things that aren't related to stationery, something that will help you know your average everyday gentleman um, just carry his stuff a little more conveniently and be a little more organized. So I was able to get this um, key organizer at a deep discount from the Kanasi um, company in order to do this review. Um, so just full disclosure, I got this at a very discounted price for the purpose of doing this review, posting it on some of my other channels, um, including my personal Facebook, which, yeah, kind of sucks, but, you know, that's what they wanted, so they gave it to me for a deep discount, so, you know, I'll, I'll do it. Um, but yeah, so let's get into a little bit about um, what I like and what I don't like about this key organizer. So, <clears throat> prior to getting a key organizer, I, like many people, just had a carabiner. Um, I had a Night Eyes S beaner. Um, I left it upstairs so I won't be able to show you what it looks like, but it's shaped like an S. It's got two locks on the um, uh, the spring-loaded arm that allows you access to the carabiner just for good secure keys. Um, but that, you know, like most people, that got kind of bulky. Actually, this is a small version of the Night Eyes S Beaner, um, so mine was just a much bigger one, about probably five, six times this size. But, so, like most people, carrying it like that, I had multiple of these keychains with a couple different types of keys on them, you know, for work, for home, and just some other stuff that I had. And it, was, it got kind of annoying, especially with my giant Honda key. Um, you know, at times I would have it jam into my leg, I'd have it um, poke through things, it would just be, you know, kind of annoying. And so I'd been looking at some other key organizers, some of the metal ones, um, and then I came across Kanasi, they were willing to give it to me for a deep discount and for the purpose of review, so I decided to give it a shot. So like most key organizers that I've come across, it puts your keys into somewhat like a Swiss Army style fashion. So you can see I've got some keys in there that are hooked through this brass bar. Um, so, you know, it's advertised to fit, I think it's six to 10 keys, depending on how big they are. Um, but let me do it in order of my notes so I can actually get it for you. So the construction of this is a one full piece of leather, um, price stamped out would be my best guess from a larger piece of leather. It's got two brass screws that you put your keys on and that um, keep it in its folded state. Then it's got a brass snap enclosure as well as a brass carabiner here that's connected to one of the brass um, sidebars. So the leather itself, it's, I, it's advertised as you know, real cowhide leather. It feels a bit more like faux leather. I mean, there's parts of it that definitely feel real, but you know, it feels a little more on the lower quality leather side if it is leather. Um, another thing is advertised as being anti-scratch. You can see pretty good right here that it's definitely been scratched. So um, without getting a screwdriver to take these off, I was screwing this back on and when I screwed it on, my nail caught that and gave it a pretty solid scratch. I wasn't able to buff it out or anything, so right off the bat one of the advertisements just didn't work out. Um, so I can't imagine what it would be like if you had a flathead screwdriver and we're doing this and you're screwed, the bit slipped and you came across the leather. They would probably do some pretty gnarly damage if that was done from my nail. I'm surprised at how well you can actually see it on camera. I hope it's showing up on the video for you guys. I can see it pretty well on my camera. Um, so that's that's one concern right off the bat. Another thing that it was advertised is it's one-handed deployment of keys. And while you can do that, um, just pop it open and you have to like shake it out upside down to get your keys to come out. You know, it's, you can do it one-handed, but then you're stuck shuffling through this to get, like, this is my office key for work, and, you know, you're just kind of stuck 
trying to get it and it doesn't work too well so that's another problem with the advertisement that I had um, it's definitely something that is much more easily two-handed um, two-handed use so that's just another problem I had with the way it was advertised another thing to be a little nitpicky about is the number of keys can that it can hold um, like I said, I think it I think it's advertised to hold 10. Unfortunately, I didn't pull it up before I started doing this review. Um, but I think it's advertised to hold 6 to 10, so about 5 on each side. Um, that's obviously going to be limited by the number of keys that you put in here. So, for example, this work key, this office key that I have, goes all the way to right here. Um, so about right there, for the, where my fingernail is. And so that's obviously going to limit what number of keys I could put on this side because it's going to take up one of those slots. If it was just, say, let me pull it out, my house key, for example, that goes to about halfway through. And so I think I would be able to fit some more keys on the other side because they could layer on top of each other. Maybe if it layered on top, it might hold ten, like 10 total, five on each side. Um, I could definitely fit at least one more good size key on on this side right there. Um, so that's going to be a problem if you've got some larger keys. Another thing is, if you're like me and have a fairly newer car, my car is about 10 years old right now, maybe 9, um, but it came with these key fobs. This is obviously not going to fit in this key organizer, so that's kind of you know counterintuitive. So then I need to use the carabiner to attach to um, a keychain to go to my keys. And then this guy is just a desk key and it doesn't, you know, it's not going to fit in there. This hole is too thin for that brass bar. So that's another limitation. So it really depends on the type of keys that you have. It's not, hasn't been too bad carrying it around with this extra stuff on it. I knew that was going to happen with any key organizer that I got. Um, but just keep that in consideration if you'd like to carry all of your keys within this guy. Um, and then if you have larger keys, like I said, you might be limited on that um, on that ability to carry more. So the measurements, it's about 3.93 inches long, 1.7 inches tall, and 0.79 inches wide. Um, that, for the rest of the world, outside of the United States, um, that's 10 by 4.2 by 2 centimeters in the same um, direction. And so one thing I wanted to mention, while it's, while, oh, before I go into that, just for my conclusion, the way that you get this out is you just unscrew this right here all the way. It's got quite a bit of threads on it, so it takes a minute. Then you can pull this apart and start adding keys. Oh, I took the key side off. I wasn't hoping to take the key side off. But you can see, and then it just goes through the hole on the key slot. And then you just line it up again. And then, bam, you're good to go. So like I said, be careful, just so you don't end up like me and have a nice big scratch on your leather right there. Just be careful in how you're tightening it. I've hand tightened mine and I haven't had any problems so far. They haven't come loose or anything like that. Another thing I forgot to mention is if you're using the carabiner, you're really going to limit the number of keys that you can have on this side. Um, for example, this is going to take up one or two key slots. I think my baby's waking up. <laughs> He's coughing a little bit over there. He's taking a nap right now. Um, but I don't carry keys on this side because trying to get it out, it's going to get caught on the carabiner. It's going to get caught on this keychain. And it's just going to be overall annoying. So that's also going to limit the number of keys that you can carry. All right, so I think I hit all of my things that I wanted to get to. Um, so while I think, well, you might have noticed that like most of my observations about this has been a complaint. Um, my complaint is mostly with how this is advertised. So like I said, it's advertised as being anti-scratch leather, clearly not. It's advertised as being one hand um, operational. It is, but it's pretty difficult to do so. Um, overall, I have really enjoyed using this. It's been nice to organize my keys like this um, to where they're not poking into my leg. I mean, obviously outside of these guys. Um, but Overall, I definitely think it's a solid key organizer. A lot of the other ones that I've come across are metal. So if you like that leather look, this is definitely a good option for you. I have to include a link um, to the Amazon site that I got this from on my YouTube video. So be sure to check that out if you want to do it. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that. So unfortunately, I don't get paid for you using it. But 
it would be great if I did um, so I could grow this channel a little bit more. So as always, please like and subscribe um, to my channel and video if um, you like what I'm doing. And then, like I said, it just helps me grow, keeps me doing what I'm doing, um, you know, helps a new new uh, vlogger, blogger, product reviewer out. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you next week.